Beaujolais is located on the southern tail of Burgundy and is a sub-region that has been talked about a lot in recent years, but not always for the right reasons. Located just north of the city of Lyon, its picturesque vineyards sit amidst rolling hills which run alongside the River Saône, where winemaking dates back to the times of the ancient Romans. The soils here are composed largely of granite, and the area has a slightly warmer climate than the bulk of the Burgundy region. Whereas Chardonnay and Pinot Noir dominate in the rest of Burgundy, the Gamay grape reigns supreme here, with all red Beaujolais wines produced from this variety. Gamay is a productive variety and is easier to grow than Pinot Noir, which means growers need to carefully control the yield of their crops to ensure quality. Gamay from Beaujolais does have similarities to Pinot Noir. It tends to produce light to medium-bodied red wines with fresh acidity and moderate soft tannins. The grape is renowned for its intense fruit flavours of red berries, black pepper and a minerally chalky character. The top examples can also have wonderful tannin structure behind them. Beaujolais' reputation has been growing steadily, with the often stratospheric prices in the north of Burgundy forcing people to look elsewhere for quality at better value. But Beaujolais' image has not always been as positive as it is today, with Beaujolais Nouveau wines tarnishing the sub-region's reputation in the 1980s and 90s. A vin de primeur, or a wine which was produced and sold in the same year that it was harvested, Beaujolais Nouveau is memorably released on the third Thursday of November each year. This celebration still occurs, with the date heavily marketed in the late 20th century and becoming famous across Europe, the UK and subsequently Asia. The popularity and novelty were so great that people would race from Beaujolais around the world to see who could get their case of Nouveau back home first. Inevitably, such high demand led to a huge decline in quality and Nouveau fell firmly out of fashion. With over one million cases of Beaujolais 2001 vintage, most of which was Nouveau, being destroyed or distilled into spirits. Beaujolais production has since bounced back, thankfully, and although there were no Premier or Grand Crus, it boasts 10 prestigious crew appellations, which also produce some truly stunning wines. Look out for the names of Morgan, Fleury, and Moulin Avant, amongst others. Although Beaujolais' reputation might still be a bit tainted by the Nouveau phenomenon, this sub-region of Burgundy produces some incredible wines at very competitive prices. 